guys. Um, okay, I guess for a while, you know, from now on, I'm gonna do like live videos, live stream, I guess what that's what you call it. Um, <clears throat> even though it's been a few, been a while, I don't know, I guess years, <laughs> I still act like a newbie on social media, so. I'm just gonna do live stream for a little bit. Whew. Yeah, no, it tires me out so quickly. But I guess it's easier than trying to make a talking video and then post it. Okay, just as the title says, have you ever plus others? Okay, so have you ever pet a shark? <laughs> no, seriously. Have you ever, like, were able to touch a shark ever uh, because that's like money that was like literally I wanted to tell every single client that I pet a shark not only pet a shark I was face to face with one one above me and one below me it was the aquarium I went to on Sunday <clears throat> even though there was lots of screaming kids uh which I don't think that should be allowed in an aquarium, but besides those tons of screaming kids, my favorite part of the aquarium, adventure aquarium, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show you that coin, is the sharks and the main race. Oh, jeez. It's like, um, it was like, it's like I managed to achieve one out of a zillion things I wanted to do in life. Oh, uh, technically it was like a little shock I touched. But man, being close to a shark, very close. <clears throat> and even though the sharks were behind a tank, it was just amazing. Like, I was pure spirit speechless and I <laughs> okay first I was like first I like pet a shark and that uh, that alone was like emotional for me and then going up to a big tank and the there's all these like sharks and other um animals like fish and turtles and the fact that a sh I forget, I don't know which shark. I can't really tell what they are by looking at them unless it's a photo with the names on it. But they definitely had hammerhead sharks. But when one like swam by me of the tank, I was just amazed. Not like you see on the news or watching horror movies that someone goes speechless in fear, but I was just speechless. Speechless and in love. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna like break down in tears or like. <laughs> Because I wanted to be near a shark for as long as I said I wanted to be near a shark. As long, like, from the moment I said, oh, I want to pet a shark, I want to swim with a shark. <laughs> and the fact that on Sunday, I finally was able to touch one and be, like, so close to one. It made me full on speechless in amazement and and like seeing how mis majestic these creatures were are it it was just amazing even though they were in tanks and surrounded by screaming kids that's just the sad part, unfortunately. But 
at least they're not being killed to be eaten and <laughs> don't and then sue for being accused of shock attacks but it didn't stop there um I was even more more amazed when I was touching man rays to the point that I wanted to feed a man ray I thought about getting two dishes but I decided to get one because I thought that was enough just to experience it but then when the the huge one approached me and it like nib was nibbling my finger to get the fish I was just I wanted to stay there and feed the man right and like pet it like forever because even though you were only supposed to have two fingers and pet its back gently this man ray was like so gentle and even though it wanted more food but it was like so gentle with you it just let you pet him despite the two fingers roll I was just in love with amazement with the sharks and the man rays even though the Avenger Aquarium has some flaws in it. Like, if you were to compare that aquarium to... Well, the only place I could ha I could compare it to is the Lehigh Valley Zoo. Because that was the only place, other place I went to that had animals. I would have to say there um some of their um, habitats, habitats for animals are not the greatest. Like the penguins, for example, the Lehigh Valley Zoo does better, better taking care of their penguins than the aquarium does. And there's like a few other things they have uh, that I think are flaws, like the poor gator, for example. Um, I don't think you want to have a gator in the same room with a bunch of screaming kids making tons of like noises like that poor gator was just surrounded by chaos and he was pretty much almost as big as his almost as big as his tank maybe half the size so I felt extremely bad like I couldn't even enjoy the fact that I was face to face with a gator because of all the noise that was around was around him it was just so hard <laughs> if i had if my phone was able to like take pictures in the dark or you know like record great quality there would be tons of photos posted right now um like not just the animals like the little like information displays. I have a feeling though that they're more into sharks than any other because they didn't really have much information displays for other animals especially for the gator and the hippos they had. Oh my god the hippos they had the worst habitat, disp habitat display ever. To me it feel like they were just in a huge tank. I felt extremely bad for them. I did. There wasn't even really much a display of information about them. So I felt really bad. Like there was just room and they were in a tank and next thing you know it was straight to the sharks. Well not straight to the sharks but information about sharks and then there was like other creatures that are like close to extinction. My point is, their habitat is habitat um, display is kind of the most sad out of all the others, cause they're from Africa, and you would think it's odd that they would be in an aquarium instead of like a, a zoo, like any other animal would be. It's just odd. Like it was nice to it was nice to see one in person, but. 
the way it was, I just felt very bad for them. Especially the fact that they didn't even want to interact. They were just in the water trying to prevent from being seen or anything. It was like the penguins. They tried their best to not do anything. This, especially the fact that theirs was super small. They couldn't really do anything. I felt like they couldn't even get out of there. They were just stuck in their standing position. So the penguins, the hippo, and the gator were probably the most saddest that I felt for, including the frogs. Even though the frogs were super cool, especially the fact that some of them were poisonous. It's just sad they were in the same room as kids, you know, able to scream at the top of their lungs and stuff. I didn't get a chance to touch the starfish because the moment I poked one of them, um, they took a 15 minute break, so I never had a chance. <clears throat> But I do, I did love the sharks. Like, I had a chance to touch the sharks. I had a chance to be face to face. And also the tunnel thing. So I had a chance for one to literally go over me. So I actually saw what its mouth looked like. So that made me speechless. The only anxiety I had about the tunnel was, of course, the kids. Because... You would think it's not a good idea to be screaming at the top of your lungs in a glass-made tunnel, even though it's small, like short range, but you would think it's not a good idea to do that. It's not like Jaws, Jaws 3, where the tunnels are humongous, but still, you would think it's a good idea not to be screaming at the top of your lungs. <coughs> And, the f and what was even cooler was to walk above the sharks. <laughs> like, they had a shark bridge. It's this, like, rope bridge. Like, they had photographers taking pictures throughout the aquarium. And if one catches a photo of you, they, like, give you, like, like a paper receipt so you can go, like, get your photo print it out and like put it like digital or framed or however you like it well this shark bridge is made out of rope pretty much as many as many people as possible can actually walk on it despite my knees being terrified and wanting to be carried even though that's like pretty much against the little rule board which obviously nobody didn't care because you can't see it and the fact that it's so amazing why would you why would you care about the rules and besides I saw someone with a tripod so they're obviously breaking the rules there but <laughs> hi Rachel I'm talking about the aquarium Rachel What does this button do? Oh, hi. Anyway, the shock bridge. Oh my god. This is like the first time ever I was not afraid of heights. Like, I am scared of heights. And yet, this bridge that's like made out of ropes. I, and I'm like, uh... Who knows how high above the ground, and who knows, um, I don't even think it's high above the water, which is full of sharks, and <laughs> here I am, not afraid, I'm mostly being amazed by the sharks, and <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, especially with Rachel watching, uh, I was kind of imagining jumping into the water, <laughs> but nope, Rachel would have kicked my ass, <laughs> so yeah.
That was pretty much my favorite part of the aquarium was the sharks. <laughs> Man, oh god. Yeah, I pretty much broke out in almost broke out in tears because I finally was able to um a be extremely close to a shark. Pretty much one out of a zillion things in life. <laughs> now I just gotta do a swim with sharks. <laughs> We'll do it again. <laughs> and I hope I get to feed a man right again. Oh, jeez. Other than that, uh, yikes. They have to fix some things. <laughs> but here's some of the things I got from the aquarium. Although it's just you watching at the moment, Rachel. Yes, I know. This is weird. <laughs> I got this. My sister, my niece, uh, my sister's husband, and me. I'm wearing, which you can't really see this in the photo because of the flashing, of oh, the flashlight, flashing camera. I've been wearing this, the earrings and necklace that Rachel made me since she gave it to me. <laughs> Which I think since then I pet the shark and actually been so quick close to the sharks. I love sharks even more. Even though I mainly um watch sharks in like horror movies. Which <laughs> some people probably find that weird. And I got these coins. Probably can't be able to see it, but it's, uh, like, Paradon. Can you believe this was five bucks? These things used to be a dollar in a machine. Wow. And I got this. Well, technically my first one. No wonder I have an unwanted roomie. Okay, my first one, I think it was like a badger, but uh, Jimmy managed to get me the Jaws one. Which I don't think we went into that section with all the huge um, shark displays and the shark posters and all that. Aloy probably wouldn't want it anyway. <laughs> and I thought about getting a shark plush, but... Um, Okay, it was one reason, but now it's two. Um, one, there were so many kids throwing them all over the place. Oh wait, now it's three reasons. And two, I decided these instead. It's a bunch of shark teeth. You would think they're fake, but now I'm starting to think they're not because uh, there's shark in there's sharks in their tanks. Except you gotta wonder about this one because it says extinct. This one says tiger shark, extinct tiger shark. Okay, now the third reason that I just realized that I did not get a plush is because of my unwanted roommate. A spider keeps decorating my stuff. I literally just had to clean off all the webs off my plushes. He targeted all my animal plushes today. First he targeted the ceiling that way, and now he targeted my plushes. So, who knows why he's in my room. Bing, la la la. Well, that's the aquarium experience. Like, some parts were awesome, some parts were okay, and some parts I just fe felt bad for the animals because of all the um, kids. Maybe they should try to make some rule about the kids thing, like, kids should try to be, uh, try to stay quiet in certain areas. There was this one kid in particular that really irritated me. I guess he's become one of those people, or is going to become one of those people. Oh no, I made my jellyfish blue! I think he's going to become one of those people who think that sharks are just going to be animals. 
are just going to be animals that um, attack people for no reason. Because the kid was like, hey dad, why is he not attacking you? Hey dad, why is he not biting? Why is he not biting or attacking like, they, like they're supposed to? Man, this kid was irritating me so bad that I just wanted to tell him that they don't attack unless they're being unless they feel threatened or they mistaken us for food. But you know, some parents can be a little offended when someone starts talking to their kids. So I just had to deal with the kid who keeps repeating the questions. <sighs> If only if the kids were not so loud, then maybe the person who was at those penning stations could actually, like, give good, like, um, animal life lessons, such as, you know, sharks are not that, are not dangerous. They only seem dangerous because, you know, global warming causes them to move the, their living like habitats to a different part of the oceans and it only seems like like they're attacking so much because because movies make make it so dramatic and well of course they mistaken us as food even though they have eyes doesn't mean they can really tell the difference between what a human looks like and what a fish looks like they really just go on like the vibration of the water splashing. Kind of like when whales and dolphins use echolocation. They like rely on that to communicate. It's kind of the same way with sharks. They use like the vibrations of the water. So they can easily mistake us for food. Or they attack us when feeling threat when they feel threatened. So that kid really irritated me. Just that one kid out of all the kids at the aquarium, that kid really irritated me the most. And I can't wait I made my jellyfish brew. <sighs> yeah, tomorrow I have to go for my echo um when i see my cardiologist and um that's at one and well even though my sister said i don't have to go to work in the morning i guess it just depends on my stubbornness so um, if i don't go at least there'll be some like treat bags ready for her because I know they're going to be needing treat bags. And the jellyfish ones I make, which is a Spongebob reference because the sign pooch, we have a summer spa package going on. And my treat bag themes are like sea creatures, like either like um, clownfish, which is a Finding Nemo reference. Or the jellyfish, which is a um, combination of Finding Nemo and Spongebob. Because we couldn't really get a Spongebob um, little thing into the photos. Like I was begging all spring for. <laughs> Even though some of the clients actually find that cute. But yeah. Let's just say we had some um, difficulties. So... There was, there's no Spongebob in the photos, so it's actually on the, um, it's actually on the, um, gift bags that I always handmade for the treat bags for the dogs. Except this one's kind of like a mess up now, because I made it blue instead of purple. Eh, so this one's going to be like a combination of blue and purple. I guess tomorrow just depends on my stubbornness. If I want to go in the morning or not. I just have to like take it easy. Even though supposedly the echo test is just going to be a short one. Easy and short. But 
really just depends how much energy I have at the end. Because afterwards, we're finally, um, finally gonna go to Regal and deal with the bucket issue that I'm having. Like, they don't mind me using my buckets, but at the same time, there is an issue going on. It's more like my bucket edition and their um, business profit issues. So, we're going tomorrow to not only explain what happened on Saturday, but to also try to, like, solve the, like, make a solution to where I'm able to use my buckets that obviously I pay like triple more now to buy why at the same time they're able to you know make a profit that they get from each customer that goes to the movies because I was able to get it filled for like the last 11 times including last including Saturday but that's kind of what it led to a stressful situation because I did have the money to pay for it. It's just they were unwilling to actually fill it even though I was willing to pay for it. Which, yeah, it kind of... Let's just say it kind of will let... This, book, this bucket situation... but kind of will make me get back into that environment um, such me um, subject again. <gasps> Don't ask me where I got the um, topic from. I probably got it from Aquaman 2, but I just didn't do it right away. Start doing it right away until recently. It's probably the reason why I started buying buckets to begin with. Not only because they're cool, but they're actually better than buying cardboard bucket, popcorn buckets and cups and then just wasting them two hours later. But instead you can actually keep reusing them and then use them at home and use them at work. Trust me, my sister knows. <laughs> she sees me put cereal in the cups, sees me put cookies in the cups, sees me put soda in them, water in them, <laughs> leftover popcorn, so. I use them as much as as much as I possibly can for like anything. <laughs> I even use them for makeup. <laughs> like my makeup for like Deadpool and Wolverine. And this bucket is for my from like my my tattoo that I always put on my face. And these are the gems that I've been putting on my cup. <laughs> but I'm going to eventually reveal my secrets to how I do my tattoos. <laughs> I will have to eventually reveal my secret to you guys. Trust me, you guys are going to actually find it as easy as it really looks. Depending on the stencil. You actually are just going to find it real easy. It just depends on the sensitivity of your skin. Even though, um, acrylic paint, I think the last time I was told that it's safe. But it really just depends on your sensitivity. But yeah. Once I show you how it works and how I do it, it's pretty much going to be super easy. <laughs> okay, I gotta use the right color this time. <laughs> but yeah, um, tomorrow... Finally going to try and deal with the situation, hoping we can come to good terms about me able to use the buckets whenever I wish, while at the same time making sure they get the profits, the profits for the po popcorn and drinks that I get, instead of always doing the let it slide thing, because that actually got me stressed last time, because... The let it slide thing is actually bothering me now because it just feels like they're, you know, actually wasting money now. Well, technically, I think they're wasting money by constantly buying the cardboard buckets and cups because if you look at their new versions of the buckets and cups 
the Cogwell versions. It's just their logo. And a logo of the Pepsi, so yeah. You'll probably see my reason why I prefer spending triple the price <laughs> on these things. Uh, technically this was eBay, so it was tackling like maybe five times the price? Almost five, six times the price, so yeah, I know, I'm crazy. And hopefully tomorrow as well, after that situation, I can finally see the movie again. Really just depends on the energy I have remaining afterwards. Whew. At least I have better energy today to do a live. Yesterday, it was hard. Today, I'm actually doing a lot better. Some of the soreness has gone away. The bruising has not. It's actually got a little bigger, but no broken bones, which we're lucky. I definitely do not want to have another broken bone. <laughs> definitely do not want another broken bone. I'd rather just have soreness and bruising and have it like go away and finally get to the point of recovery that I can finally go back to doing dog baths again because I enjoy doing it. I honestly think I was never actually going to do it on my actually going to do it until I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, I just got this sudden inspiration for it. It's complicated to explain. Let's just say there really hasn't been a movie out there that had no that not only has been making history, like big cinematic history, but has been able to put strong um, inspiration and good influence on me. So. That's pretty much <laughs> why me and Riga po po has to ha has to try and deal with this bucket issue because I have no intentions of using their cardboard um, buckets and cups again. I fortunately have no intentions of do going back to those because even though some people find it easier and it's cheaper, there are some flaws to using cardboard, especially cardboard straws, like ICs definitely, for example. Like, if you want to put an IC in their cardboard cups and use a cardboard straw, the moment, the, the moment that the straw breaks, you're doomed with the IC. You're so doomed. And... Once you stop have stop um drinking that icy, the cup is just gonna it absorbs the flavor of the icy, and you're no longer gonna want to have it. And also because the icy is mostly made of ice, as it melts, it's gonna absorb into the cup, make the um cup all moist and wet, just like cardboard boxes do when they get wet by rain. It's pretty much the same concept. I think that's the right word. It's basically the same thing, except this is just like a bucket and cup version of a cardboard box. The, it, it happens the same thing with butter popcorn. I noticed that too, that the butter immediately gets absorbed into the bucket. Unlike with these, um, it actually stays in the popcorn. It doesn't get absorbed into the bucket. Same thing with the ICs. It actually stays in the IC. Like, I get to enjoy the IC. It's just a straw issue when it comes to ICs. Like, you need to make sure you use a plastic straw. Or else you're going to have the cardboard straw issue. Other than that... I'm still trying to decide if I want to go to work in the morning. Depends on my stubborn attitude because I'm pretty sure some of you know that when I'm stubborn, I'm stubborn. <laughs> it's kind of like me in movies. I get rebel, rebel, whatever, whatever how you pronounce that word. Stupid bug, stupid bug. 
once I get really stubborn, I get stubborn. So the morning of work really just depends. Really just depends. And then, you know, the afternoon I have the echo test. Uh, we really, <laughs> I really hope they find out something about what's going on because I am tired of passing out from chest pain. I am so tired of it. And I hope it's not that serious that it's going to interfere with my passions or my dream goals. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like something that will be like easy to like treat unless it's going to be the same issue that um that Nana had but the thing is that was like diagnosed in her um like later years it's not like it was diagnosed in her 30s <laughs> like I literally just turned 31 so I'm pretty sure I have a a problem that's going to be easily treated but we don't know yet. <laughs> but it was something that really scared us. <laughs> Definitely scared me, that's for sure. It Honestly, it scared me more than my own seizures did. So, we just gotta find out. <laughs> I'm definitely... Uh, yeah, I'm really gonna depend on my stubbornness. I'm definitely putting on the makeup though in the morning and my tattoo. Uh, now I think I feel, now I feel like I'm getting lost in the topic here. Well, if I'm not going in the morning, I'm gonna make sure there's like tons of these tomorrow. I'm gonna try and draw them one by one. Why at the same time, I'm gonna try and do the cheating way, which is copy them. But I don't think that's going to work. So I'm just going to do them my usual way. And that's draw one by one. Which is usually what most clients love about them. Is me actually drawing them and making them myself. Unless there's, unless it's like the holidays. Like Christmas where we actually have to buy like tons and tons of gift bags. Because <laughs> Christmas, the holiday spa package is like literally our most popular spa package of the year. This is like the first time we're ever doing a summer one. And Halloween might be also our first one ever as well. We don't know yet. <laughs> But if I do go to work tomorrow, I'm probably just going to stay at my station and do my simple stuff that I usually do, usually do if I'm not ba bad bathing dogs. I'm definitely going to definitely gonna still um, give little Sadie her baths. Uh, I'm too stubborn to not stop doing hers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing from now on until... I have enough strength to, and once they find out what's going on with me, I have enough strength to go back to my actual videos. I'm just going to do some live, live stream videos. Probably be easier on me for the time being. That way I can just do it one time and one time only per subject. Now, like, my acting videos where I'm, like, doing it, like, for three hours straight and having the camera in multiple directions and playing certain scenes multiple times in a row. And <laughs> not like that. Um, for live stream, for the temporarily, a short time for now, it'll just be, like, doing one live stream for like a certain subject one time until we figure out what's going on so well I hope you guys have a good day or a good night and I'll see you for the next live stream video or whatever I post I am gonna miss the videos that I actually enjoy making for a little while Unless I just post a old video that hasn't been posted yet. But I am going to miss doing the videos that I really love. 
until then, this is what I'm pretty much gonna do until then. So, hope you guys have a good day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.